Opportunities for student participation and engagement in the lesson help build an active learning community. There are many ways to invite student participation in a virtual learning setting. Let's see how Sarah uses Annotate in Zoom to help students set the groundwork for an effective learning community on day one of a course in the School of Community Services. Hi everyone, welcome back from your break. I hope you had a good 10 minutes to stretch and grab a snack or some water or tea. Um, as I mentioned before the break, we are gonna spend the second half talking about a little bit more about our community and for us to understand each other, build our classroom setting together. And then we're gonna go into a small group activity. So let's start with a little bit of reflection here, as you see with the picture of the mirror and learning about each of us, right? So me, as well as uh, the rest of you in this class, we're gonna be using a different Zoom tool today um, to help me understand more about each of you. So the question is, what helps you learn? As a student, what helps you learn? This is gonna help me understand you better, uh, help me help guide what kind of activities and, and teaching strategies I'm going to use in the class. So here's a question. Here are all the options, you know, reading related texts, asking questions, listening, charts and visuals, practice activities, et cetera. There's so many. And I'm going to give you instructions on how you're going to use the annotate function um, in Zoom to participate. So you're going to take your cursor, your mouse to the screen that is being shared and you're viewing right now. And if you go to the top of the screen, you'll see right up here, it says you're viewing Sarah Kafishan's screen. Beside that, we'll say view options. So I'm gonna get you to hit view options and go down to annotate. Once you click annotate, a new toolbar will open up like this. And for this activity, I'm gonna get you to use the stamp function, this one over here. Okay, and you're gonna use the check mark or the tick right here. Once you click on snap, stamp, there are gonna be a few options, different types of stamps. So you can either use the, the tick or the heart if you prefer. And I just want you to click on the screen which ones you resonate with or which ones, which types of activities help you learn the most. So for example, let me give you an example. Um, I'm gonna use the tick. And I'm going to say, you know what, I like reading related text. So I just put a tick mark there. And I also like writing. So I can do that. So here's some examples of mine. So go ahead and annotate on the screen. Which of these activities help you learn? Okay, great. I can see them coming up. Am I audible? Oh, hi, Bamek. Yes. Um, uh, I cannot see the annotate option. Can you just help me? Sure. So, um, Balmik, you're gonna. I'm gonna walk you through the steps again. If you take your your mouse and go to the top of the screen, so this slide mm -hmm. that I'm sharing on the top in green, it says you're viewing my screen, and beside yes. that is view options. So, if you click on view options, the third option should be annotate. Okay, but uh, there is no annotate option available in my Zoom. Like, I don't have oh, this okay. option only. Okay, um, that's all right. Sometimes that happens. You might want to update your Zoom um, mm -hmm. after class. That might be a good idea for, for you, Baumik. Okay. Um, but for now, you're welcome to share um, which ones you like the most in the chat or um, tell me and I can annotate for you. Oh, okay, I'll add it in the chat where everyone can see it. Okay. Or you can private message me too, Balmik. Okay, uh, I will do that. Private message you. Great, thank you. So some of them are coming up. All right, so let's take a look here. So we've got quite a few, only one person likes taking tests or quizzes. That's not too surprising, but hey, I'll, I'll take that as a win. That's a, that's a good point. We do have one quiz in our class, so in our course. Um, examples that are relevant. Let's see, which are the most popular ones? 
It looks like knowing why the learning matters. Yeah, and we'll definitely be talking about that a lot of the time because as we said, this program is about community development. This course is about community development. And it's in um, this is your, your first semester of the program. And next semester, you're actually going to be taking all your learnings and applying it in a placement. So everything that we learned is quite important. And I'll be, be sure to talk about that. Um, what else is, is looks like this is the most. We also have examples that are relevant to um, my life or my work, my experience. Some people liking to read, looking at charts, doing practice activities. We're going to be doing practice activities uh, because we do have quizzes. We have assessments and I want you to practice in class um, so that you feel comfortable with the types of questions that you have on your quiz um, and the types of, um, you know, things that you're expected to do on your assignments. Okay, great. Thank you so much for participating. So I'm now going to clear the clear the um, drawings. So if you can stop annotating, that would be great.